Hey, what's up, guys? So I know I promised you guys to do a 35-gallon hexagon tank. Unfortunately, as I set it up, it uh, had a huge leak, and it was after a couple hours. I noticed water was leaking on the ground, and so I had to go to Plan B. So I cleaned out my 20-gallon lawn tank. That was going to be my Frank tank. And uh, how I did it was I used Dr. Tim's Aquatics. It's one only live nitrifying bacteria. So within about three weeks we'll have the tank cycled we're gonna check it in three weeks see how it looks but my wife designed the whole inside layout she wanted it to be a commie pink um, sand which is a little bit better gray that way it doesn't get blown around the rock structure is also from her she wanted to make the rock structure I laid like here and there piece out but the most of it she did herself um, here is the LED light it has three nice size bright blues in there um, here is the uh, hang on the back filter. Oops. Hang on the back filter for it. Um, it does about 50 gallons, so it's plenty. As you can tell, it's plenty of water movement in, in the tank. Uh, I got a 150 watt um, heater in the back. So this is where her corky clams are going to go. And you guys can see the temperature in the tank. It's getting up there, about almost to 78 degrees. So perfect. I had to buy the stand. The stand cost me $100 since. The um, hexagon tank failed on me, so what I'm gonna do the hexagon tank, I'm gonna reseal it all, and I might show a video how I reseal the whole tank and make sure everything's back to normal and do a water check on it and see how that goes. But I hope you guys like the small little update of the tank. Uh, the 20 gallons gonna be running about three weeks. Then we're gonna get cork clowns in, anemone. First things first in two weeks, I'm gonna check it, check the perimeters, make sure the water's correct before I add anything in it, and um, hopefully this will go out well. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week.